Cameron Diaz at one point was one of the highest paid actresses in the industry, but then almost out of nowhere, the actress seemed to slowly fade away out of the spotlight, with her later revealing that she had retired from acting. And I got all the details as to why, coming up for you on Beyond the Screen. I'm Mackenzie, and let's get right into it. Cameron Diaz, who is now 48, was born on August 30th of 1972 in San Diego, California, USA, and she's of Cuban descent. Cameron left her family home at 16 to pursue modeling, and for about five years she was traveling all over the world for modeling, and appeared on the cover of multiple magazines, including her being on the cover of Seventeen when she was just 17 at the time. Then in 1994, she broke onto the silver screen with her role in The Mask, alongside Jim Carrey. In the following year, she landed roles in My Best Friend's Wedding and There's Something About Mary, with the latter catapulting her to mainstream fame, as she was nominated for Best Actress at the 1999 Golden Globes. She then was able to transition into more serious acting roles, like her role in Being John Malkovich, which granted her Best Supporting Actress nominations at the Golden Globes, the BAFTA Awards, and the SAG Awards. And just a random fact that I could not help but include, Cameron Diaz actually went to high school with Snoop Dogg, if you believe it, with Cameron saying about Snoop, quote, there was a lot of kids in our school, there's like 3,500 kids, but I remember him, he was very tall and skinny, wore lots of ponytails in his head, pretty sure I bought weed from him, <laughs> I had to have. Snoop also talked about Diaz, with him saying, quote, she ran with my homegirls, all the little cheerleading homegirls, and he said he thought that she was cool. And then for about the last 20 years, Cameron Diaz has been the top of Hollywood royalty, starring in huge box office hits and becoming one of the most notable names in the business. But that all changed in about 2018, when Diaz formally announced that she was retiring from acting. While her and the other co-stars were doing a reunion episode for The Sweetest Thing, Diaz called herself, quote, actually retired. And in the years since she's been off screen, she's taken time to strengthen her personal life, like getting married to singer Benji Madden in 2015, becoming a mother, and launching a clean wine brand called Aveline. Diaz spoke more candidly about the decision with Gwyneth Paltrow, saying in the long interview that after she retired, she quote, got peace in my soul because I was finally taking care of myself. Then speaking about the pressure of fame, adding quote, it's so intense to work at that level and be that public and put yourself out there. There's a lot of energy coming at you all times when you're really visible as an actor and doing press and putting yourself out there. I'm sensitive to some energies and not others, but I do get the overwhelming energy of the attention being put towards me. I stopped, I really looked at my life, and I saw what I had been missing. Then going on to talk about how consumed her life had become because of the movie business, with films taking away months of her life like it was nothing. Saying, quote, when you're making a movie, it's a perfect excuse. They own you. You're there for 12 hours a day for months on end. You've no time for anything else. I realized I handed off parts of my life to all these people and they took it. Continuing that she needed to take time away and focus on her personal life and strengthen her relationships. Even saying that she needs to take back her independence because, quote, actors are infantized. We're put in a position where everything is taken care of for us. You go to set, everybody wants to carry your bag, and you're not allowed to do anything. And assuming that she will never come back to acting, her last role will be as Miss Hannigan in the 2014 remake of the musical Annie. And if you're wondering what she's spending her time on now, she's mainly focusing on new aspects of her life. First and foremost is being a loving wife and mother to her daughter Radix. Diaz has also become a best-selling author with two books under her belt. 2013's The Body Book, Feed, Move, Understand, and Love Your Amazing Body, and 2016's The Longevity Book, The Science of Aging, The Biology of Strength, and The Privilege of Time. And speaking of longevity, Cameron is also anti-Botox, and speaks about aging gracefully while embracing her wrinkles as they come. Her biggest project currently is Aveline, her new line of clean, natural wines, which she co-founded with fashion entrepreneur Catherine Power. On the website of the wine company, the founders explained that while they were becoming very conscious of all the things they were putting into their body, they were not so sure it was in the wine that they drank. The women then went to discover the ins and outs of the wine business and found that wine companies aren't legally required to disclose much about the wines. That's what inspired them to make a clean wine brand that are free from dozens of unwanted and undisclosed extras. So all in all, I'm glad that Cameron made that move. She's been working in the public eye since she was 16 and really deserves a break. And I'm happy to see she's pursuing other passions and seems to be very happy with where she's at in life. Let me know your thoughts on all this below. Are you a Cameron Diaz fan? Are you sad she left? All of that. I love her rom-coms. They are just so amazing. So it's really, really sad to see her go, but we have so many movies of hers to watch for Ever. So, you know, can't be too sad. But before I head out, I'm gonna shout out some comments for my video on Henry Cavill getting injured. Olivia Lack said, Mackenzie's the best host. Love you guys.
Thanks, queen. Love to hear it. This comments always make my day. Then Prep Ford said, I hope he recovers quickly. I don't think the main actor should do any stunts. They're jeopardizing everyone's paycheck, as well as their own life. I guess that's very interesting. They might kind of think that they're being noble by doing their own stunts, but in a way, um, you know, if they get injured, everyone's out of a job temporarily. Not out of a job, you know what I mean? Everything's on hold temporarily, makes things longer, costs go up. Very, uh, very good point. Then Renal said, everyone don't forget to smash the like button for Mackenzie. Thanks so much, Renal. Always love seeing your comments, asking for the likes. We love to see it. All right, guys, that is all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you made it all the way here, I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I will catch you all in the next one. Miss Cameron Diaz. Uh.